Hi everyone, our focus today is praying in light of the faithfulness of God our Father. It says in Lamentations 3, 22-23, and I'm reading from the NLT version, The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is His faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. And it's a beautiful verse, and I know we, we're aware and we know this verse. Unfortunately, even if we know this, our perspective of God's faithfulness has been tainted by this world's uncertainty and inconsistency. Because we've all had experiences where we have felt disappointed, rejected, or even abandoned, that we, it makes it hard for us to get a hold of God's faithfulness in our lives. And we now box God's faithfulness with the limitations of our definition of what is good and what is bad because of our experiences and our expectations. So today, we want you to really ponder on this and we really want this to pray over you that you know that God's faithfulness is not limited by our expectations and that even if we're faithless, God remains faithful and that we can hold on to His promises because He who promised is faithful and that what He has started, He will finish. So as you pray and fast today, we want you to ask these few questions to help you really Really grasp if you, you if you have allowed these experiences to taint God's faithfulness in your life. So first question is, God, how have you limited God's faithfulness with your expectations? Secondly, how have disappointments in your life based on past experiences caused you to doubt His faithfulness? And lastly, which promises of God do you need to hold on to in this season in your life? And as you answer those questions, I want you to pray for these things. You don't have to pray this, all of it, but maybe just to help you, give you suggestions on what you can pray for. So pray for God to reveal how He has been so faithful in each season of your life. For God to really reveal how He has been a deeper, un- for you to have a deeper understanding of God's faithfulness in the midst of disappointment. Pray for the Holy Spirit to remind you of His promises that he says in his word for your current season and pray for God's faithfulness and his promises to become the foundation of your perspective and expectation for your future. And and finally, conviction to see things with the lens of God's faithfulness. And ultimately, we really want to to pray for you that today you would get a deeper revelation of God's faithfulness and so that you can rely on this whatever season you may be in, whether it be difficult, whether it be easy, whether in the mountains or in the valleys, you can hold on to God's faithfulness.